everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Moore, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic with the Sith Inquisitor playthrough, episode 2. Now, we need to go to the lower wilds as we need to uncover a holocron which apparently nobody has ever been able to do. Ever. What the heck is that? It's attacking me, whatever the hell it is. It's covering the screen. I think it's a graphical glitch. Woo. 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 It's on her forehead. Oh no. Anyway, let's move on. It's a weird glitch, whatever it is. I was going to check if I had any new abilities, wasn't I? Uh, I have Overload and I have Whirlwind. Alright. Oh, I've got boots as well, have I? Yeah, I'll take those. And an XP boost. I'll take that also. Make me even faster. I need to go on a taxi because I need to go all the way over there. Enter the monument chamber. Where is it? It's that way. I've got to go further. Ah! Oh, but you brought me over here. If I'd known, I would have travelled over there. Seriously. <sighs> Gotta love travelling. Also, is it just me? Or are enemy portraits more flat than my portrait? Mine's more round. Their face is like incredibly flat for some reason. I mean, look, I'll be on this one as well. That one. That one. Their faces are flat. I have no idea why. Well, you're going to die anyway. Shock you. Smash you. And smash you. Failed acolyte, hey? What are you trying to do? You're trying to hide from your masters. Not going to happen. You're all slaves. You're all slaves. You all deserve to die. Wait, I'm a slave as well. But I don't deserve to die. Did I just see something sparkle up there? I swear I just saw something sparkle there. Am I going crazy? Probably. Give me a bonus mission. Thank you. I'll take that sweet, sweet reward. And level 5 as well. Do I get any new abilities at level 5? I do not. Oh, what a shame. I do have a bunch of junk I need to sell though. Ah! God, that just sounded so... <laughs> My god, that sounded so... Yeah. Better heal myself up before we go inside. And that'll do. Inside we go. Um, is that it? I think that's it. I'm going to kill you. Hopefully they all, you've got a bonus mission. You do. I'll kill all of you then. See, easy bonus missions like this, I'll gladly do. Because there's barely any effort involved. But ones that ask me to kill like 30? No. They can go to screw themselves. Anyway. Up the steps we go. And hello. The Holocron's monument bears the marks of many hundreds of unsuccessful attempts to pry it open. Um, break it. Let's see how you like this. The monument shudders and beasts rush in and attack. Hello, beasts. Hi. All right. I do know how to open it, but of course. Can't do it just yet until I've defeated all the beasts. Retrieve the ancient hologram again. The monument remains unopened. Offer blood to it, shoot lightning at it, or meditate on the light side. <laughs> shoot lightning at it. Just open, damn it. The monument shudders and then opens, revealing the holocron. Lovely. And now we can return to Overseer Harkin. That was easy. I had fun draining myself in blood, drenching myself in blood. That's what I was trying to say. I couldn't think of the word. Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. Ah! My camera's got a bit funny. Price. Don't enter the tombs alone. Travel in numbers. Take plenty of weapons. We were told to complete the trials alone. You survive them. They can't be that bad. You haven't been inside. The things in these tombs. Darkness, beasts, abominations. Some say the madman in the tomb of Agenta Paul will kill you before the rest does. Don't listen to this coward. We're here to prove ourselves, aren't we? Go ahead. Ignore me. There'll be more to take your place. Will that more be me? Yeah, I'm going to take your place. Because I'm going to lead this planet in due course. You look like a child for some reason. I thought you were a child. Even you're flat. Your face is flat as well. Everyone's face is flat, but mine. What if I clicked on my portrait? Even I'm flat! What's going on with this one? 
Hello! I achieved the impossible, because I'm amazing. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. There it is. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. All right, Let then. Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. And your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? Just shut up. Stop with your taunts and give me my next trial. If you wish to prolong your life, you will not make demands of me again, slave. Now, for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I'll be back. I will return with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave. I hope to one day call you slave. I hope you can be my slave. You can be my bitch. Because you will be my bitch. And I will... D d d I... Yeah. I'll do that. That just sounds wrong. What is wrong with me? This is what the Inquisitor does. With the Dark Cell Inquisitor, it changes me. It just... My mind just... Oh, my God. My God. Hi! Oh, you're friendlies. I thought you were all enemies. Alright then, that's fine. Where am I going? I'm going this way according to my map. The force tablet is here. How am I supposed to be carrying this? Alright, I'll somehow carry a massive tablet like this. Alright, unless it takes like a copy of it. It probably just takes a copy of it and then just sort of minuscules it and then obviously I'll give it like the data pad or something like that. I don't know. Okay, there's one here somewhere. I don't know where, but it's somewhere here. Uh, it's this way. Oh, he's gonna kill the enemies for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. There it is, I'll let you go in first. Because I'm an asshole. Thank you, I'll take this now. Because like I said, I'm an asshole. La di da di dum dum da. I love killing people. It's the best thing ever. Hi! Hello! You think you can beat me? That's gonna be a no, unfortunately. They're in heaven now. Or hell. Probably hell. Oh, I grow tired of this killing. I've done too much of it already in the past minute. Oh, I wonder what my average minute by kill. Kill by minute, I should say. Ratio is. Take the tablet, and then we are done. Mm, mm, mm. I see a lockbox over there. Probably not worth my while, but gonna check it anyway. Just cause. Why the hell not? Might find a few credits in there. Why am I doing whirlwind? I don't even do whirlwind. Whirlwind is a pointless ability unless I have like ten thousand enemies. Uh, ooh, lovely stuff. And what's this? A law object. Oh, the legacy of Tulak Horde. Level 7! What did I pick up? Uh, crafting materials and something else. A leather belt! Which I can't use. Because I can't use medium armor. That's not fair. Bye! I can't wave. Oh. Bow to me! I am your master. Although, why would you bow to a slave? Hmm. But I should program them so that they don't bow to you unless you are fully a Sith and not a slave. But, you know, whatever. Hi! Jeez. Oh, no, 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 I haven't got this up because, yeah, I'm an idiot. I heard you say kiss, though. Sound like you said kiss. Oh, well. Where the hell is everyone? Hello? 
Hello? Oh, you're here. Oh, hi. Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You. You slave. Wait. No. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? It was actually quite simple. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. I'm sure you could just bomb it Tell open. Me, how did you manage it? Mm. I'm not telling. That's my little secret. Good. You guard your secrets well. This is a credit to you and a source of power. Though I personally prefer to be more open. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Can you tell Zash that? Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon, yeah, Harkon. Not Harkon's Zash, you are Harkon's only purpose Ugh. is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Hello, I'm back, because I'm amazing. I am amazing. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Sorry, I'm just talking to my uh, future master. Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I guess I lost track of time. I just know. like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Yes, sir. Of course, Overseer. It is an honor to serve. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? Because you'd fail. You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Born to be Sith. That was terrible, Charlie. Why would you even sing that? Why would you even attempt to sing that? That was horrible. Yay! Only 998,522 more credits to go and then I've got that achievement for the light side dark side event or I could just give a million over to uh, Listaria from Kranosoko probably just do that although I wouldn't be surprised if Bioware have thought about that can you actually do that can you actually just transfer a bunch of money over and get the achievement hmm hello there friend you remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. This sounds vaguely like a threat. What did I ever do to you guys? I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. Did you now? But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. Let's go then. If you're going to kill me, then do it. I'm sorry. I really am. Stop being Quiet, sorry. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. I shall. And I will. Easy. I'll make you die slower because you liked me. Cool. Done. That was... Was that all I had to do? Oh, I thought there was more to it than that. Alright then. Harkon, your trick failed. You are failure to everybody. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fon are the last ones. 
So I just kill Thorn and I'm Sith, right? This shouldn't take long. Wrong. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? What's so special about this map? Lord Zash wants it. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fon for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. So him. And Fon's already started. So my advice? Run, slave. Run. Um, <clears throat> One moment, please. Lord Zash. What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? Yeah! No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulakhord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. What makes you say that? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? <laughs> no, my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dishard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I can't defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. Ah, she's a sweet Sith. I mean, I know she's very murderous, and I know, uh, you know, she has a dark side, but she's a sweet Sith, isn't she? She cares about me. She really does. I try not to get on her bad side as best as I can. But I probably will, because I get on everyone's bad side. Um... Are you okay? You're, um... Just running around in circles right now. <laughs> what level are you? Uh, level 5! Are you brand new to this game? Let's find out. Judging by the, uh... Buffs, you most likely are. Yes, yes, you are indeed. But you have a few achievements. Hooray! But again, why are you running around in circles? Anyway, let's move away. Bye. Hi. Bye. Oh, lovely. A bonus mission. Well, I might as well do this on my way because there's going to be a bunch of people in my way, isn't there? Like you guys. Hi. The first rod is done. In fact, rod of hate. Uh, then the rod of fury, wrath, and despair. Because I have a load of fury and wrath. Oh, hi! What are you doing? You interrupting me? How dare you? Are oh, you not part of the bonus mission? Oh, oh it's rival acolytes. Ah, oh, you're droids. Damn it, droids! Why couldn't you be acolytes? Well, maybe droids could. Could become acolytes in the future. Maybe they'll be uh, they'll have free will and they'll 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 become acolytes. You never know. You never know. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum. Can I do this before uh, dying? Because I'm very low on health right now. Uh, come on, you can do it, Charlie. There we go. That was super duper easily. Um, there's these guys as well. Why don't you count? I mean, I know you're not, you're a henchman, but you still should count. Because you're a henchman to the acolyte, so you're like 1.5. You should count for half a point. Because you have acolyte in your name. Oh my god. Seriously. Go away. I think what I might do, though, just thinking about it, maybe because these are my light side, dark side main characters, 
Maybe I should do um, some of the objectives for it. For example, if I go to the achievements, go to the light side, dark side stuff, wherever it is, uh, it's there. There's some flash points, isn't there? Um, what flash points do I need to do? Yeah, the back black tunnel Esselis, boarding party of Terrell 5, found you in the Melchon prison. Maybe I should do those on this character. Maybe. Maybe. What do you think? Should I? Should I not? Oh, I thank you, Lamia. They're helping me do the bonus mission. I think I might have gone the wrong way, though. Have I gone the wrong way? Nope, going the right way. Thank you. Allow me to take that. The Rod of Wrath. <laughs> that sounds funny to say. Oh my god, go away, droids. I don't like you. Tell you what, I can understand people's complaints about this, um, about the Light Side versus Dark Side event, but for someone like me, who's only done one playthrough of a class, it's actually got me wanting to do the other class stories again, just sort of do them for the Dark Side Light Side event, so it has got me excited to do everything again, because prizes. I don't know what the prizes are, mind you, because I haven't received a single prize yet. But I'm excited. I'm really excited. I should get to, actually, I should get to level 8 by attacking the next enemy. There's no point in me healing up. Well, there probably is, actually. I'm so low on health right now. Um, there we go. Woo! That was a close one. I just didn't think I was going to survive that. And I'll take the last rod. Thank you very much. The rod of despair. Place the rods at the altars. At their altars, which is all the way over there. Alrighty. But I will heal myself up first. Oh my god! These droids won't quit, will they? They are everywhere. More droids! Seriously. What is up with these droids? Why do they want to torture me? Oh, good. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whoa, ha, ha. Nearly actually died then. I'm trying to last as long as I can without dying. What level do you reckon it will be before I die? Um, I'm going to go with like level 20 before I die. Unless of course I'm going to do a flashpoint and then I will die then. So level 20 without a flashpoint, I'd say. Yeah, most likely. In we go. And some more droids. Bye. 1 out of 10. There's the shade. kind of wish I could skip all the way around. But unfortunately I can't. I always feel like there's something secret behind here. Something that I want to actually see. But something tells me I can't actually jump over. I bet you somebody has jumped over. Oh. I've just jumped over. Oh, okay. Um. Where does this take me? Okay, we're not going that way just yet. Um. Okay. That kind of made me look a little bit stupid, but oh well. Okay, I still got a bunch more droids to kill, and I still got a little bit further to go. Oh my. These droids are really starting to get on my nerves now. Well, that's a bonus mission done at least. And I'm almost level 10. A couple more missions, and I should be there. Okay, rod number one. Rod number two. Rod number three. And rod number four. And before I do anything major, I'm going to heal myself up. Because... Not going to spoil why, unless you've seen the... Unless you've not seen the Inquisitor story. You can take the pain. You're stronger than this! There we go. Alright, enter the Shade's chamber. I shall indeed. Hello, the Shard. Places, ha! Oh, the world conspires to mock me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
To La Corne, I waited for you, I did everything you said, and this is what you send me? Ha! Fate is cruel to me, little one, but not as cruel as it is to you. You have made a terrible mistake. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. I am Kem Vau, seven of Tulak Horde, who was called Lord of the Saints, Master of the Gathering Darkness, Dark Lord of the Sith. Together, Tulak Horde and I devoured our enemies in the battles of Yun and Kabosh and brought the entire Droman system to its knees. And now I await his return. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. Dead? My lord, why didn't you come for me? I would have died with you. No, I would have slain death itself. As for you, you should not have come here. For I hunger, and I will devour you. Hi! Right. Um, well, you'll be an easy kill. Kinda wish I could push you off, but fortunately I can't. And you're dead. Just about. Just, just, just about! Ha! Defeated! Defeated! Why did you not come for me, Tulak? Why have you allowed your servant to be reduced to this? Fine, little one. In my great weakness, you have defeated me, so I must serve you. This is the law that binds me, but you are not my master. Obey or perish. As you say, little one. For someday I will regain my strength. Alright, find a way through the debris wall. This should be easy. Do I need to go this way then? Well, what is this way then? What 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 is this? Is this like a secret bonus area? I mean, I guess it takes me down there, but... What is down there? I don't really know. I've never really been down here. Um, does anyone know? I can't be bothered to go look. But probably something secret. I don't know. Oh well. Yes, Kem. Well done. Oh, crap. Anyone else want a piece of me? Can I sneak by all of you? Something tells me no. I'm not even going to bother. You, my friend, shall be an easy kill. A very easy kill. Because Ken will heal me. And I will be fine. Although you'll be a very long kill. They're taking a while for me to kill right now. Um, but nevertheless. It's moments like these that I could really do in my heroic moment. I've been bored for like these past two minutes just killing this one creature. Well, I'm nearly there. 4%, 3%, 2%, 0%. Level 10! Thank you, and that can be moved over here because I don't need that right now. And let's see what new abilities we got. I got a bunch of junk I really need to sell. Ooh, speed of piloting, yeah. Unbreakable will, yeah. Recklessness, yeah. Electrocute, yeah. Um, there's an unbreakable will. Um, I mean, uh, that's that. Yeah, you can go there. That's your interrupt, and you can go there, and you can go there because whatever. The star map! There it is! Oh, done. I thought it was going to be like a cutscene or something. Alright then. What on earth is going on here? People on mounts for some reason? Oh, I don't have a mount right now. I need to see what my mount of this series will be. I need to find that later on. Oh, of course I can choose my um, thing, can't I? Sith Sorcerer or Sith Assassin? Well. Considering my last one was a Sith Sorcerer. Sith Assassin. Come, Mitz. Uh, yeah, I'll sort that out later. I agree, Kem. I have absolutely no idea what you said, but I agree. What did I just agree with? Uh, how things have changed. How long since my master's death? Yes. Agree with. That's how long since your master's death. Agree with. Anyway. Let's move on to see Overseer. Harken! I'm telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Deshard across the chasm, but I could not get to it. But the map, the map! Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map! I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. 
No one is ever going to get that map. Ahem. You don't mean this map, do you? The map? And... the Dashard? Get that monster out of here this instant, and give me the map! No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth, you must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release the monster? I am not a monster. I am Kem Vau, servant of Tulak Horde, devourer of the rebels and at Yon and Kabosh, consumer of the Droman system, and I am hungry. Right. You... you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this! Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp after you personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. Eat them both, Cam. There'll be no way soon. With pleasure. Keep your pet at bay for just a moment, Acolyte. I would have a word with Fawn. Lord Zash? Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Here, Lord Zash. Right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. He couldn't have found it if he tried. Silence! Fawn will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. Now, one more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh, I, no, uh, no. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Weak. Hearken, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool. Kill him! <laughs> There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. As you say. This is not the end. Without Lord Zash to save you, you're nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. Deal with it. Just face it. Your star is dead. You're nothing. Get out of my sight, slave. Your new master is waiting for you upstairs. She is, isn't she? My master. Because I'm an apprentice. Because you didn't think I was going to be. Showed you, didn't I? This is a very long episode, isn't it? Hey, Zash. I'm here, your apprentice. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. You're invisible. There we go. Let's make, make this work this time. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. Was killing Fawn really necessary? He couldn't help it that Harkin is a fool. Of course it was. I can only have one apprentice. Okay, fair enough. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map you brought back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh boy. Murder and mayhem await. Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. You must meet me on Drummond Cars. There we can talk more. Drummond Cars? Why must we go there? That is where the map leads, though I likely would have taken you there anyway. The capital of the Sith Empire is a good place for an apprentice to start. I will meet you in my chambers in the Citadel in Kars City. There we can speak more freely of the work ahead, without the fear of unfriendly ears. This is the lightsaber I had as an apprentice. I want you to have it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to change it in a second. I shall wreak havoc with it wherever I go. Magnificent. No doubt you will. Now, remember, my chambers, the Citadel, Drum and Kars. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. Alright then. I don't understand why she has to go straight ahead, then turn on the spot, then go. Why can't she just turn and move at the side? Whatever. 
Stop right there, alien scum. Darth Scotia has a message for you. Does she now? Who is this Darth Scotia? Darth Scotia is Lord Zash's superior, and your worst nightmare. The message is this. You will not go to Drummond Kars. Everything you've done here, everyone you've dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Korriban. He knows what your master is up to, and he is displeased, to say the least. On Korriban, Lord Zash may have her way, but on Drummond Kars, it's a different story. So you see, you have to die. I've been waiting to give my new lightsaber a try. Oh, slave. I'm going to enjoy tearing you to bits. But I'm not a slave anymore. I'm not. Which one should I go for? Green, blue, or red? Let's go for red this time. I, I went for blue before. But we'll go for red. Yes, I think so. Um, I'm sure I can kill them without the um, enhancements and all that. Pretty sure. Because I'm awesome like that. Kill the thug. Kill the other thug. That one's that one. I can see self dead as well. Alright, we now need to take a shuttle to the Imperial Fleets, which we will do next time. But for now, we should stop recording because this is a very long episode. A very, very long. So we finished Corban. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.